Hey, hey. <laughs> Happy Sunday. So I was not going to do any readings today. Today was supposed to be my day off. And something just kept telling me, do a collective, do a collective, do a collective. Somebody needs this message today. So if you're the person, somebody was manifesting me. Somebody was manifesting me. So if it's you, let me know in the comments. Because somebody wouldn't let my ass take a day off today. And I don't know who it was. But I'm here. I ain't mad. I ain't upset because this is what I'm here to do. Connect with y'all. Oh, what happened to this lighter? Hold on. You know, you got to shake it sometimes. You got to get that last little bit of... I don't know if this going to work. Damn, I don't think I have no other lighter. Damn. Come on, lighter. Come on. Gotta shake it like it's a penis. You know what I'm saying? Damn, this shit ain't giving out. I think this shit is dead. Well, I was gonna light some sage, but I guess my lighter is kaput. But anyway, hey y'all. This my little bag of <laughs> my bag of cars when I be traveling. You know what I'm saying? How y'all doing? I am here. Have no fear. Happy Sunday. Y'all see the setup is different. I'm back in my old apartment. I flew out here to um, take care of some business and finish up on the final touches with this move. You know what I mean? So I'll be here for a little bit. Trying to see which deck I want to use for the collective. I think I'll use this one because this is the first one I see. Sorry for the delay, but how y'all doing? Y'all hope y'all had a blessed weekend. Hope it's been a fun weekend. Hope you, you know, did something exciting. I mean, sometimes it's exciting to just relax. You know what I mean? Sometimes you ain't got to do nothing crazy. You know what I mean? So even if you was just relaxing, chilling, you alive. You alive, baby. You alive. That's a blessing. Mm -hmm. So let us see here what's going on with the collective. Because it is 1211 right now. And something told me to do this reading for you guys. So somebody needed it. So like I said, if it's you, let me know in the comments. Let me know. Say, Miss Hawaii, yeah, I, I'm the one that summoned you. I'm the one that manifested you. You could, you know, you can't take no day off. And it's okay. I, I'm going to be honest with you. I be feeling weird when I don't do readings. Like, when I do take a day, I be feeling like something's missing. You know what I mean? Because I love connecting with you guys. So it's like... When I don't, I'd be like, this feels weird, this normal life. <laughs> so let's see what's going on with the collective. What, what's this important message that, that you needed tonight, collective? Cards are shuffling weird. I do not think it's this. Somebody's name is Irene. Foundation, established family security. The cards are shuffling weird. Withdrawn, single, lonely, solitary. Confusion, uncertain, unclear, unsure. Peace, balance, harmony, friendship. Hmm. Somebody acting, somebody feel like you have withdrawn and they're confused. They don't, they don't understand why you act in distant. They thought you and them were building something. <laughs> they thought you and them were building something together. You two were creating a strong foundation. So I don't know what happened. It says confusion, uncertain, unclear, unsure. 
So this person don't know what's going on with you, but you you pulled back with the withdrawing card. Single, lonely, solitary. Some of y'all just want to be by yourself right now. I don't know. But whoever this is, it seems like they were pretty serious about you with the foundation card. They felt pretty secure with you, so. The hell is going on? What happened? Why did you withdraw from this person? They don't know what's going on between you and them. They like, I thought me and a collective were here, we were there, and now it feels like we're no fucking where. So let's see what the hell is going on between you and this person. Because you withdrew for a reason. I mean, unless some of you are just trying to focus on yourself right now. I feel like it's deeper than that, though. Let's see. Some of you could be Leos. You could be Aries. Let's see. What's going on between you and this person? They're very confused about you and them. The Six of Swords. Yeah, they feel like you're acting distant. <laughs> the Temperance in Reverse. This is really bothering them. Could be a Sagittarius. The King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's really bothering them. The Emperor. Aries energy, like I said earlier. The Queen of Wands in reverse. The Queen of Pentacles. Ten of Swords. The Nine of Wands. Bottom of the deck is the Judgment. Okay. Scorpio energy here. You and this person are coming up as a match. You're coming up as the king and the queen of pentacles. So something about New York here. New York. Holla. <laughs> you know, that's my place. There's a queen of, who is this person? There's somebody that wants this person, but they don't. This person don't want them. This person wants you. I don't know who this other energy is around this person, but. They're really bothered, like, because they feel like you are moving on or you're distancing yourself from them with the six of swords. If you're in a relationship with this person, because that's for a few of you, that's not all of you. They feel like you're trying to like get out of the relationship or something. Mm-hmm. Let's see what the hell is going on. Let me try to find the deck here. Bear with me because I literally just got in. Well, I, I landed a while ago, but I went and ran some errands and I went and ran some errands and I didn't get completely organized before I did this reading. I just jumped right in it. That's the Sagittarius rising in me. Hmm. Why the Six of Swords? What happened? Somebody's name is Teresa. You got your guard up towards them, the Seven of Wands. The strength, you holding back. Why are you looking at me like that? You're holding back. You're still healing? Some of you feel like you're not finished Healing with the three of swords in reverse. It's like you pushing this person away. Why the temperance in reverse? The hell wrong with you? 
the six of cups. This person wants you. They feel like now they're getting nervous because they feel like they don't know if you went back to somebody from your past. Seven of cups in reverse. Like this is, this is annoying to them. This is stressing them out. They're uneasy about this because they're very focused on you. They feel a soul bond with you, a soul connection with you. Like they've known you before. Some of y'all, this could be somebody new. What's the king of pentacles? This person is serious about you. Page of wands. You excite this person. The king of cups. They got feelings. The four of pentacles. This is somebody holding on to you. This is somebody holding on to you, boo. This is somebody with a lot of feelings. What's the emperor? Is that you? The five of swords. The hermit. Yeah, that's you. You acting distant. Some of you, maybe you felt like you thought this person was playing games, so you pulled back with the Five of Swords. Some of you, maybe y'all had some type of conflict. Could be a Virgo, and you pulled back. Some type of disagreement. Who is this other person around them? That's, they don't want this person at all. It's somebody... <laughs> There's somebody that somebody else around them that's trying to get them, but they don't want this person. They're not attracted to this person. I don't know why they want me to tell you this, but there's somebody else around this person that's trying to like get them. But they don't want this person with the nine of cups. This person is seeing your person as their wish fulfillment. This could be somebody that they like stop fucking with. And this person is trying to get back in their life. Tell me more about this person. Yeah, this is somebody that got feelings for this person. But they don't even trust them. I don't know who that is. Could be somebody like jealous of you and knows that this person is into you and trying to like, I don't know, maybe they saw something on social media or saw you guys out on a date or they heard something. What's the Queen of Pentacles? There's something here about a train. Let me know if that resonates. Yeah, the three of wands, the ten of pentacles, the six of wands. Whoever this is, they want this with you bad. Like, they feel like you and them could be this power couple. Y'all can make money together. Y'all can go into business together. Y'all could... They trying to give you time with the three of wands, but they are getting impatient. What's the ten of swords? Six of wands again. Four of wands. Yeah, they feel like you and them have built something like together. I don't know how long you've been dealing with this person. Some of you, it could be somebody new. Some of you could be somebody you've known for a while. But with the six of wands and six of wands and the ten of wands, they feel like y'all have built something strong. They don't want it to end. This person like really wants commitment with you. So I don't know. So if this is Bobby that ain't been trying to commit to you, this is not your reading. Because you know how people be trying to make readings they reading and messing up a good reading. If you're dealing with somebody that don't want your ass or is, is not trying to commit to you, this is not your reading. Because whoever this is, they serious about you. They serious about you. Ace of Wands, like there's heavy attraction. It's just talking about them. It's not really talking about you. It's not really showing me why you withdrew. Some of you, it has something to do with you needing to heal from something from your past. Ace of Wands again. They're very attracted to you. I heard bring it. So I feel like whatever, like this is not somebody that's just going to just shy away easily. Like this is somebody that wants to fight for you. Wants to fight for this because what they feel is real. With the judgment card as their overall energy, they know how they feel about you, even though they feel like you acting a little bit funky. With the nine of wands, like this person ain't no like punk. They not going to just back out. Even if they do feel like you're pulling away with the eight of cups. 
Like, this is somebody that's not just going to just punk away. Like, they want to try to show me the confusion card. They want to try to, like, work this out and fix things with you. They want to stay. The Three of Cups. Yeah, they like, I thought we was having a good time together. The Page of Cups, the Hangman, Pisces Energy. They're like, I thought we was having a good time together. We was vibing, like... You're making me feel like a kid again with these emotions. What's the withdrawn card? Somebody's name is Allison, Walter. Page of Swords. So you pulling back, but you still spying on this person. Don't look at me like that. You pulling back, nine of swords in reverse, four of pentacles. Some of y'all feel like it's better for you to pull, like withdraw because it's less stress on your mind. You must like this person too. If you like what you playing games. What's the foundation card? Nine of pentacles, six of pentacles. Okay. You real independent, whoever I'm talking to. Some of y'all really focused on money, stability, but. With the peace card, this person feels like you got a real peaceful aura. It says balance, harmony, friendship. So they feel like you and them, like y'all, 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 I can't even talk. Y'all harmonize together really well. Like you guys mesh together really well. Maybe you guys, you know, even built a friendship on top of this. Like they feel like you guys balance each other out really well. So I don't know. Why did you pull away? Why, why are you acting Ace of Cups in reverse here? Why are you acting withdrawn, Collective? Five of Cups. Do you miss somebody from your past? Page of Swords. I feel like you still are watching this person, though. Knight of Cups. And you got feelings for them. You playing games, boy. The Star. You actually want this person. Either you, either you still got feelings for somebody from your past or you're afraid of a past situation repeating itself with the five of cups. Cause that's about past pain, hurt, disappointment. You got feelings for this person, the knight of cups, the, the page of swords, the star. Okay. That's Aquarian energy. Okay. You, you want this. But some of y'all pulling away, like I said, either some of you are not over a past situation or you just are afraid of repeating. Like you're afraid of loss. You're afraid of abandonment. You're afraid of, you feel me? Because you into this person and they're damn sure into you. But you got them confused. Because they like, yo, I thought the shit was going well between us. What happened? What, what did I do? Mm -hmm. Oh, collective. Let's go into the extended reading now. Okay. So in the extended, we're going to pull Oracle. We're going to pull Tarot. We're going to get you some advice. We're going to see what your spirit guides, your angels, your ancestors feel like you should do. Um, if you want to join me in the extended reading, the link is below. I hope to see you there. But if not, thank you for tuning in. Make sure you guys hit that like button, please. Okay, if you like these collective readings, you want more collective readings, you want them to keep coming, you have to make sure you're hitting the like button. Okay, make sure you're leaving me comments, letting me know if the readings resonate and how they resonate and make sure you're sub that you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure that you're sharing the readings as well, okay? Um, if you guys wanna book a personal reading, you can email Readings at gmail.com. Okay, make sure you guys are following me on Instagram and TikTok. Miss Hawaii Tarot is the name. Be careful of some fake person on TikTok pretending to be me. I don't know if you guys saw the post I posted earlier today, but ugh, this person, like, I cannot wait to verify my, uh, my TikTok so this person can just go away because this person has been impersonating me for a long time now. 
and it's really annoying. You guys keep messaging me about this person because they keep messaging you and I, I get it, but I can't do anything. They have me blocked, so I can't even like keep reporting them. So if this person reaches out to you, their name is Miss Hawaii Tarot with two T's on the end. That's how you know it's not my account, okay? They're pretending to be me. They're reaching out to people, trying to give you free readings. I don't know what this person is getting from trying to impersonate me. It's really creepy and it's really giving psychopath, okay? And I don't know who this person is, but I can literally sue you. So you need to stop fucking with my subscribers and leave us alone. They're pretending to be me. They're stealing my videos. It's sick. And it's really starting to annoy the shit out of me because it's been going on for a long time. And it's like, I don't know what this person is getting. They are mentally disturbed. And I am currently in the works talking with TikTok because I am like trying to like trace their IP address and figure out what the hell is going on and who this is because this person has been doing this for a long time and it's annoying me. Okay, like get a life. Please get a life. You know, so just please watch out, okay? All of my social media pages are in the description box below. If it's not one of those pages, it's not me. I will never hit you up talking about dearly beloved, I'm gathered here today to give you a reading. I don't even talk like that. So if anybody hits you up talking like that about a reading, it's not me. The only way to get a reading with me is through MissHawaiiReadings at gmail.com. So I need y'all to make sure that you're aware of that. Protect yourselves out here. It's some crazy, weird ass people online. And I don't know who this person is. It could be an enemy of mine. I don't know, but they're just determined to impersonate me. And like I said, I'm currently talking to TikTok because I'm trying to figure out who this person is and I'm ready to take some legal action because it's, it's just, it's, it's annoying and it's, they're taking it too far. Okay. So just like I said, protect yourselves. If that page hits you up, you don't have to let me know, just block it and report it. The more blocks and reports it gets, the more we can take action against this person, okay? You telling me is not doing anything. You have to report the page and block it. Report the page and block it, okay? So I just wanna make sure, cause a lot of you have hit me up about this person and I can't do anything. You know what I mean? Only you have the power to do something. I've done what I can on my end and I'm doing more, okay? So just keep in mind, let your friends know, anybody else that you know watches me that the only way to get a reading through me is through that email, MissHawaiiReadings at gmail.com. Not through DMs, not through if anybody hits you up talking about reading through, that's not me. Okay, so Angel's gonna handle that person real soon. We're gonna pray for them. Whoever that is clearly has a mental illness and you know, we. what can we do? There's people like that all over the world. Okay, it's obsession. So um, I'm sorry that people are so wicked and they keep harassing you, but block and report, block and report, block and report, okay? So yeah, shout out to the members, Patreoners. I love you guys. If you wanna join either one of those, that information is below. I'm working on a new members reading. I was supposed to do it last night, but I got held up. I wasn't able to do it last night, tonight. You know, I was traveling today, so I wasn't able to do the members reading. So I'm going to try to do it tomorrow, but you'll definitely have it within the next few days. So just bear with me. It's coming. I'll make sure I do something extra for the members. Okay. So yeah, I love you guys. I will see you guys in the extended reading. If not, I'll catch you on the next one. Have a blessed week. Thank you guys for all your love and your support. I'm always praying for you. I'm always here if you need me. And um, yeah, keep your head up. All right. I love you. I'll talk to you guys soon. I'll see you in the extended. All right. Bye.